What's up you guys? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about compression clothing. I've been getting a ton of questions about this topic so I figured I would just make a video for you guys to hopefully help you guys out and answer some of the questions that you guys have. The first question is obviously do I wear compression clothing and I think it would be a little bit weird for me to make this video if I didn't. So yes, I do wear compression clothing but I don't wear it all the time. Now I never actually wore any compression gear or anything. Like my whole weight loss journey I didn't wear it when I lost most of my weight, lost, well lost all of my weight. I didn't wear it in the gym or anything like that. I actually didn't start wearing compression clothing or even think about wearing compression clothing until I started doing CrossFit. The reason being is because when you're doing CrossFit and when you're doing that style of training, just high intensity training like that, right? Because when I lost my weight, I was doing mainly like bodybuilding stuff. And I mean, a good portion of it, I was just doing cardio because I had no idea what I was doing. So I wasn't doing like jumping and running and, and doing all this other stuff, right? So for me, my skin wasn't really moving around too much and it wasn't giving me too many issues but when I started doing CrossFit I was running a lot more obviously you're doing jump rope all the time so doing that jumping motion really kind of messes you up I wasn't using it at all until I started doing that style of training and I remember my first workout when I when I went to CrossFit we we had our first workout we went on a run and then we had jump rope was part of the workout right and I remember when I was doing it, I was like this, like there's no way that I can continue doing this if I don't find a way to you know hold <laughs> hold my skin down because it was just it was starting to kind of almost get painful and it would like move my shift my clothes around and like my boxes were falling down and and my pants were falling down and it was just it was just a mess right so I'm I'm really 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 happy that I decided to give compression clothing a shot and just think about maybe just trying it because I remember I was kind of nervous honestly about just giving it a shot because like man that's gonna be so tight on my body like I was kind of worried about it but um, it was it was a really really good decision and I'm glad that I did it. So question number two is obviously what does compression clothing do for you? Uh, for me personally, the main thing that it does is it pretty much just holds everything in place when I'm running, jumping, anything, right? When I'm doing any sort of workout, it really holds everything in place and it just makes me feel a little bit more, I guess like secure, but it's not even like I'm worried about what other people see or if they see like my, my, my man boobs for lack of a better term, like moving around or my belly moving around, but it's it's just like out of comfort for when I'm working out. I don't have to readjust things. I don't have to readjust my pants or my shirt all the time when I'm wearing this compression clothing. So let me go ahead and show you guys kind of, like I said, this is gonna be kind of weird, but let me show you guys like a before and after. So I'm gonna take my shirt off and I'll show you, you know, I'll do like a jump test, I guess, or something, just so you guys can see how much it moves. And then I'll put on one of my compression clothing and you guys can kind of see the difference. Okay, so again, like I said, this is kind of weird, but um, let's see, let's show you guys. So. This is obviously, you guys have seen my body, but this is what I look like. And uh, so obviously you guys can see like I have the, the skin here and then something that I've always done that you guys have already, probably already know this, but I've, I've always kind of tucked my belly into into my boxes right there, right? But say, say if I had to do like jumping in a workout or something like that, if you guys can see that, like, right? It moves around a lot, it, and it really, really gets frustrating, especially like if you're wearing clothes, or if you're just like, <laughs> obviously, hopefully you're wearing clothes, but it just, things move around more than you want them to, and you have to constantly adjust and adjust, and that gets really, really frustrating. So this is the, the compression clothes that I wear. I use Under Armour, I'm not getting paid by Under Armour to say this, but this is important, and I want you guys to understand this. So this is a medium, and this is a large, okay? And normally I am a like medium or large in, in like shirts and t-shirts. The shirt that I was wearing before is a large. Now I remember I bought the medium first and I was really happy with it but I was like thinking to myself, man, this is really, really tight. Like this is, it, it was like not uncomfortable. But I was like, huh, maybe if I try a large, I'll, uh, it might work a little bit better. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like you you should definitely size down or or just don't go don't size up when you're getting compression gear. You want it to be really, really, really tight. Um, just because it's gonna hold that stuff in and you don't want to be thinking about it when you're working out. Like when I'm wearing when I'm wearing this, I'm not thinking about it at all when I'm working out. So let me go ahead and put it on and I'll show you guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's on. It's as you can see, like it really pushes everything down and just sets it in place so if I were to do <laughs> look at it this is, this is kind of weird but if I were to do the jump test if you guys you guys can see that it's it barely 
barely even moves at all. I remember the first time that I went on a run when I was wearing this compression gear and I literally like I was running with my brother John and I told him like dude why have I not been doing this sooner like why have I not tried on like trying tried to run with this compression gear or just tried it on because like it literally like I, I, I didn't know what it felt like to run without either being really overweight right and you have your your excess fat is kind of moving around and that's uncomfortable and then when you lose the weight you you have that excess skin and I remember it was just really uncomfortable to run so that's why I wouldn't do any running I would do like stairs for my cardio or whatever and I remember when I the first time I wore this compression gear it literally like I was just like I'm, I was just really really excited and I still like I don't know it just really feels really nice to be able to run and not worry about it at all so like I would definitely recommend if you're thinking about it just give it a shot like I said this Under Armour stuff that I wear is like I think it's like $15 for one of these, which I, I get like it's kind of expensive, but if you don't want to buy too many, they're, they're really easy to wash, so you can just you know wear it, wash it really fast, hang it up overnight, and then you'll be good. Uh, but I do want to show you guys um, the compression gear that I wear on my, like, on my lower half. So you guys saw my underwear that I was wearing. Those are actually kind of compression-like. Um, let, me, <laughs> let me show you my underwear. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, well, I really don't know the best way to show you guys this, but... <laughs> So these are these are the uh, the underwear that I wear, or like the uh, I guess they're like kind of compression shorts, but they're uh, they're just Reebok. They're just Reebok like uh, underwear. Now I wear these most of the time, but if there is a workout where there is a good amount of running, as you guys can see, um, I do have a good amount of loose skin on my legs. Uh, like so, if I'm doing if I'm if I know there's going to be a lot of running in the workout, what I'll do is I really really like. These, which are the, the like the three quarter sleeve or three quarter like length pants, and uh, they just go a little bit lower, and they they really really just I don't have to worry about my legs at all. Um, let me I'll I'll just show you guys what they look like. So as you can see, they pretty much cover your whole leg all the way down to your ankle, and that's probably where you know most people don't have loose skin on their ankles. Um, now I understand that some people do have a lot of loose skin on their arms. I don't have to deal with that, so I've never tried like the long sleeve, but I'm assuming it would fit pretty similar to you know what these fit. I would go with like a medium or if you're a large, you know, size down. Um, same thing with the uh, with the shirt. But with the these, I really really like them because like I said, when I'm jumping, there's no movement at all. And it is so nice, especially when there's a lot of running and I have to, like, I'm, I don't have to worry about my, the inner sides of my thighs uh, kind of just like moving around. And uh, it's a, it's a really, really nice feeling. It's, it's really, it's hard to explain, one second. <laughs> but yeah, it's really hard to explain just how kind of freeing it is, especially the first time you end up using compression garments. And it just, it really does kind of open you up if you've really been nervous about running or nervous about like going, doing high intensity city training wearing compression stuff really has helped me a ton and it's really given me the opportunity you know to try out different styles of workouts try out running and, and jumping and things like that it's really given me that option and I, I'm really really happy that I gave it a shot I know that this video was all over the place I was trying to think of a better way to film it where I could show you guys everything that I was talking about but I just couldn't really think of it so hopefully this was able to answer some of your questions you know the main question I get is is compression gear worth it and I think 100% it's at least worth giving it a shot to see if it will help you as much as it helped me because like I said and I'm not sponsored by any of these companies that I've showed you I wish that I was but I'm not like they've been super helpful and I'm really 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 happy that I gave it a shot because I honestly don't think I would be doing what I'm doing now if I didn't give compression gear a shot and I didn't even if I you know if I would have just thought to myself like oh no it's not worth it or it's not gonna help you know again the tips that I have when you are ordering it make sure that you if you're normally a large to a medium um, you know go to that medium size because you want it to be really tight and uh, yeah that's gonna be my, my biggest tip but again I really hope that this video helped you guys out I hope it answers some of your questions about compression gear. Um, it's really been helpful for me, so I, I love talking about it. But again, thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up off my am. Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.